welcome to another live broadcast. We're jumping on here live on Facebook and YouTube simultaneously. If you are new here with us on either platform, welcome. My name is Diane, and for the past 25 years, I have been helping women find nutrition plans and fitness programs to help them look and feel their best and live their most authentic life. And for most of the women here in the community with us here, we have been doing that through intermittent fasting. So tonight we are going to talk specifically about setting clear goals for why it is that you want to incorporate intermittent fasting as a new lifestyle for you around food, around fitness, and around everything that you're kind of doing with your body as you are kind of entering into the stage of aging as a woman in today's world. If you're new, please take a second to hit that like button on Facebook. If you don't mind when you're jumping in, please make sure that you kind of say hello to the crowd and let me know where you're coming in from or if you are in one of our intermittent fasting courses, what month you're in. And the same for YouTube. Definitely feel free to jump in with a comment. I always go through at the end and recognize everyone who's commented and answer any questions or comments toward the end. If you're joining us on YouTube, always feel free to hit that subscribe button and that way you'll also be notified when we go live here on YouTube. Okay, so let's get down to it. Tonight's topic is the importance of clearly defining your intermittent fasting goal. Oftentimes, um, when women are reaching out to me or they're jumping into one of our online courses for intermittent fasting, their initial goal is that they just wanna feel better or they wanna make some healthy changes in their lives. And then as they kind of start progressing through their intermittent fasting, a lot of times it just takes about a week or two, if they're not losing weight, they start to panic. And if you're panicking about something like losing weight and you're starting to get a little anxious about it, we have to remember that that puts us in that fight or flight sort of feeling with our body and that causes hormone releases. When we're in that state where we're releasing those hormones that are sort of panicky and unsettling to us, that puts us in a state of hormone, hormonal imbalance. The way we teach our course and what I really like to send out as a message here with everything that I talk about with intermittent fasting for today's aging woman is that we really like to emphasize using intermittent fasting as a way to heal our body and to balance out our hormones. And if you understand the way intermittent fasting works and a way a fasting window uh, creates an opportunity for your body to heal itself and for your hormones to balance out, and you adopt that lifestyle for yourself, then over time, as your body starts to heal internally and as those hormones start to balance out, you will eventually lose weight. Because as women, we all come into this situation with a different story. We have a different health story. We have different hormonal stories. We have different dieting stories. We have different emotional stories. We have different health stories. Everyone is different. And we really have no idea what true state of healing that our body needs to go through in order for our hormones to be balanced out so we can actually start releasing that weight. So if you're not clearly defining your goal for why it is that you want to incorporate intermittent fasting as your lifestyle, then if, you'd, if you're not losing weight as fast as you're used to when you were dieting, and remember dieting is that thing that will get you a really quick weight loss, but it's generally temporary and it definitely has nothing to do with healing your body. So it's a quick fix, you'll feel immediate gratification, but if you are a woman who is aging in this world today and you've experienced dieting for most of your adult woman life, then you know what that diet roller coaster does for you. Intermittent fasting is that thing that women can really use as a tool to get ourselves back out of that dieting mentality and heal our body and really start to develop some clear like goals and insights for what it is that we want to do for our body in the long term and heal ourselves. So if you come into intermittent fasting with the idea or the hope that you'll heal your body, and then you're disappointed that you're not losing weight, 
in the very early stages of your intermittent fasting, then you haven't clearly defined your goals because one should outweigh or outlive a result. When I was going through my own journey of healing my body, I think it took me about a year to lose that 13 pounds of stubborn hormonal weight, insulin resistance weight, the weight I was holding on to because I was pre-diabetic and I wasn't really listening to the signs and signals that my body was sending me in regards to the food that I was putting into my body and what that food was doing to me which ended ended up putting me in that result or that place that I was in with my body being so sick. And so I had to clearly define what my intentions were with intermittent fasting. And I was so sick and I was so tired and I was so frustrated that I literally made the goal that if I did not ever lose a pound again, but I stopped feeling sick and I started feeling hopeful and I got my energy back and I got my health back, that that was okay with me. Like I stopped focusing on the goal. I didn't step on the scale for a year. I didn't care about what my body was looking like. All I really focused on was what my body was feeling like because I didn't want to feel sick anymore. So I focused my goals on how I was feeling and the signs and signals that my body was sending to me with the changes and the experimenting that I was doing on my own journey through discovering intermittent fasting. And when I got to the point where I just started naturally feeling better every day and I didn't have to focus on feeling better, it was just the new person that I was becoming because I had listened to my body and because I was truly putting my body in that fasting opportunity of healing, that it was at that point, which I think was about a year, I don't even know, I seriously woke up one morning and was in shock and told my husband, I think I need to step on the scale. My body has completely changed. And that was when I realized that I had lost literally 13 pounds that I had held on to for the last couple of years before that, um, struggling with my health and not knowing what to do with the food that I was putting into my body that was sending me all those signals that something was going wrong. When I was not clearly defining my goal was the year before that when I was struggling and I was frustrated and I felt like I was like, you know, never going to feel better again. And so I had to sit down with myself and really say, what's most important to me? I have two kids. I have a husband who wants his wife back. I have, I'm an energetic person. I want to live life to the fullest. And so I really had to focus on those things and clearly define those things to myself and make sure that my focus and my energy was on all the things that were going to make my body healthy. When I did that, the weight eventually came off. So if you're struggling with not losing weight, but your goal or your, what you think you want for your body is to actually just feel better and not be sick anymore, then I strongly encourage you to get out a journal or talk it over with a friend and really map out what your real goals and intentions are for jumping into something like intermittent fasting. The health benefits are absolutely amazing, but that part takes time. There's no end date. There's no challenge goal you have to meet. There's nothing that you should be setting on a time frame as far as when you think your body should reach the goals that you're looking for. Your body will reach the goals that it needs to get for itself when you put in the work and you trust that your body signs and signals that it's sending to you are the things that you need to, t to kind of identify with to make the changes that you need to make nutritionally and lifestyle wise so that you'll eventually yield the result of a weight loss. It's a process. It's taken us a very long time to get to this state of frustration. Our body is hormonally changing and we also have to make the necessary changes to kind of catch up to what our body's doing. But the opportunity is there. You have to just be patient. And what I always try to coach the women through that are in my course is just sit back and just breathe it in. Know that the research is there. 
Know that there are other women telling their stories who are getting amazing results. Know that, that you have no idea what's going on deep down inside of your body. And if you had to make a choice between a healed body and a certain weight, and you had to make a decision today, what decision would you make? And for me, it would always be a healed body. I will always choose a healed body over a weight loss because a weight loss can be a very temporary thing, but a healed body can carry on for you for a very long time. And that's why we always encourage you to really consider intermittent fasting as a lifestyle change. And when you really get your rhythm down and you found your sweet spot and you're comfortable in a hungry state and you have your fasting protocols and you've made the decisions like we talked about last night, those two things that you need to do every day, determine how long you're going to fast and figure out what it is you're going to feast on. When that is just a normal part of who you are as a woman, then the sky's the limit on what you can do, not only with your health and how you're going to feel and your energy and the longevity that you're going to have, but your weight will eventually adjust to what your body needs your weight to be in order to function through life. And there's really not a whole lot you can do to manipulate it the healthy way. The healthy way is to let your body do it on its own by listening to those signs and signals and creating a nice, healthy fasting environment for yourself. So if you're in a panic mode, the best thing that I can recommend is just breathe. Don't panic. Go back and reevaluate what it is you're doing in your fasted state. Are you fasting long enough? Are you truly in a fasted state? And what are you feasting on? Are you listening to the signs and the signals that your body is sending to you? And are you trying to mask them? Or are you trying to determine what is causing those signs and signals? And can you do something to remedy them for good? and not just cover them up with some quick elixir or quick fix type of thing that you can find. You gotta do the work. You gotta do the investigative work and sometimes you have to just sort of get through it. I tell a lot of the women in my intermittent fasting course, um, it's kind of a phrase that I use where I just say sometimes you just have to suck it up. You have to suck it up with the headache and figure out what's causing you to have that headache. Have you put in some unnecessary carbs in your diet? Are you still eating too late at night? Have you not really put yourself into that healing and fasted state when you are in your fasting window? And when you can figure those things out and you can do a really quick tweak to it and fix it, then you'll notice that those changes are gonna to start to happen and the weight loss can be lifetime. I have held this 13, I think now it's 15, I've just dropped a couple more pounds this week. I've held a 13 to 15 pound weight loss for an entire year and all I'm doing is intermittent fasting. I'm not limiting myself. I'm not cheating myself out of social opportunities. I have just to find a way of life that helps me look and feel my best and live my life authentically. And that's exactly what I hope you guys are gonna be able to do with your intermittent fasting journal as well. But you have to clearly define your goals in order to make sure that you are doing the things that are gonna get you to the, go the goals that you hope for with your intermittent fasting. Okay, so I jumped on YouTube or Facebook first yesterday. So today I'm going to jump on um, YouTube first. I'll read your comments and welcome everyone who's here. And then Facebook, I'll jump on over there. So if you have questions or comments on Facebook, go ahead and get those on there. Ellie from or Oklahoma, welcome. Brenda from Houston, May alumni, nice. Whoops. Julie from Plano, welcome. Tanya from Texas, hello. Essence Spa Essentials from Toronto, hello. Denise, July 1st group, and sad it's almost over. Uh, um, yay about alumni group. Yeah, don't worry about it. We will, we will catch right back up in the mid-August with the alumni group. I'm excited for you guys. Brown Eyes, good evening. Christina, good to be with you live from South Carolina and starting your group on Saturday. Yay, Christina, welcome to the group. You're going to love it. Um, let's see, Patricia's here. Jan from Scotland, 1st of July and the alumni group. Jan, good to have you here. Hello from Central Canada. I haven't been in any of your groups, but have learned so much from watching your videos. Thanks for putting out such great content and us aging in perimenopause women. Oh, you're so welcome. Amy, hi from Virginia. I'm going to, um, doing an extended fast. Feeling good. Awesome, Amy. Susan, I'm in the next class starting on Saturday. I have been following IF for two weeks, lost six pounds on my own. Looking forward to learning how to listen to my body. Awesome. Susan, you're going to love it. Good evening from Chicago, Carolyn, Susan from Ontario, July 1st group. Susan, are you registered for the alumni course? Elaine from Florida, welcome. Pia, 
Systems get to your goals. IF is a great system. Yes, you're welcome. It is true. Kim, hi from Tampa. Been watching, listening, learning, and trying. So glad I discovered you. I turned 60 in a couple of weeks and been expecting my first grandbaby in December. Big year. That's a big year, Kim. Good for you and congratulations. Uh, you have to uh, make sure you're on for your birthday. Well, I wish you a happy birthday. Lucene, hello. I love your show and watching all the way from Bahamas. Oh, how fortunate that you live in the Bahamas. Glenda, hello, D. I stayed up a little late today to see you live. Thank you. Thank you for all you. Oh, you're welcome. Glenda, get to sleep. Lisa from North Carolina. Christine from Australia. Welcome back. Frida, Heather, got the headache on the days when I have not had enough calories during my previous fasting window. Um, yeah, that could be the case. Or you're probably maybe not getting enough fat, too. So look into that. Lucia, I'm doing intermittent fasting for two months, 16 window. Awesome. Sandra, experiencing constipation, second week intermittent fasting. I'm eating plenty of veggies. Try adding some mineralized water or um, magnesium into your life and see if that helps. Marina, what is your coaching advice for me having times when I cave into bad foods? I'm great at fasting, but when I can eat, not always strong. Uh, define your goals, Marina. If you have a goal to get yourself healthy and stop eating junk food, you have to write those out. Sometimes you have to write yourself some reminder notes and then you have to just make sure that that's truly your goal. If it's truly a goal that you're serious about, then you'll stick to it. Dora in July group, struggling with vacation. Um, well, vacation is vacation. Vacation's not a perfect a time to try to perfectly fast or perfectly eat. I always say enjoy your vacation and come back and fast. You'll be fine. Joni from Northern Indiana. Welcome, Joni. Okay, Facebook. I'm going to jump on up over here. Let's see. I know my, my, my assistant's on her um, 20th anniversary vacation right now, so Michael and I are doing this solo. Amy, welcome. Maria, hello. Doreen, hello. Mar Miramar, hello. Stephanie, hello. Alea, hello. Tabitha, July 15th starter. Glad to finally get to watch you live. Yeah, welcome. It's always nice to be on live. Laura, hi everyone. Checking in from Fort Wayne. Shayla's here. Ellen from Illinois. Debani, good to see you, girlfriend, from the June group. Kay, July group, and Fra Fontana. We used to live close to you. Remember about June class? Okay, Melanie from South Africa. Welcome, South Africa. Uh, Joy from Illinois. Vivere, mid-July course. Susie, starting July 29th from Southern California. Susie, you're going to love it. Glad to have you with us. Yolanda, I'm ending the July group. Loved it. Awesome. Um, Orange County, Cali. Janine. Why am I having so much trouble sleeping? Um, there's There could be a couple reasons. Um, Janine, if you're in one of our courses, we'll help you address that. Connie went 20 and 4 last two days. Awesome. Connie, you're probably feeling amazing. Lorraine, big sis in New York. So excited for Saturday, August class. Yeah, I can't wait to have you. Um, hello, I just signed up for the August course this evening and completed a 23-hour fast today. Yay me. So excited for August course. Girlfriend, you're going to do awesome if you're already fasting for 23 hours. Joni in the next class. Awesome. Shannon from PA. Susie, Diane, you look so pretty in that color. Oh, thank you. Um, that's nice of you to say. Brenda, hi from Ontario. I was skeptical at first when I joined, but I am now finishing up the July group, and I'm so happy thus far with my results. I love this new lifestyle, and I'm so grateful for all that I've learned. Awesome. Brenda, I'm so glad that you jumped in, even though you were skeptical, and now you're not skeptical, and you have all these new skills um, and experiences to carry you through life. Janine, I've been doing 18, 20 hour fast and I'm up hours at night regardless of magnesium, melatonin, and bleh, my eating window is actually three to five. Um, yeah, I would have to have like a conversation and ask you a bunch of other questions and I don't really know if you want to do that on here, um, Janine. Nicole, I'm so frustrated with my 44 year old body. I'm going to do this for two weeks, see how I feel. Nicole, are you in one of our courses? We can get you going. There's some tweaks and stuff you're probably not thinking about that we can help you with. And it takes more than two weeks. Two weeks is like a hobby. If you're really going to try to do something to make some changes for a lifetime, you have to go in with both feet and fully commit. So a two-week deadline, you're already kind of setting yourself up for uh, failure on that one. 
Kathleen, hello, June, graduate from Calgary, Alberta. There are days that my struggle is mind over matter to push through the last couple of hours at work, but when I do, I feel awesome. Yeah, our mind is amazing. If we can get control of those thoughts in our mind and keep it really positive, um, it's amazing what we can get our body to do. Oh, and by the way, you're wonderful. I'm 51 and you're such an inspiration and so dang helpful. I'm so grateful. Oh, good. Janine, yeah, we gotta, we gotta work out that whole sleeping thing. I was talking to someone else tonight about the sleeping thing. Sometimes you have to go without some of those things that you're trying to get yourself to sleep on and see if we can just fix it naturally. Shannon, I've been doing 23-1 for a few weeks, so happy with the process. Oh, awesome, good. Jody, hi from Silverdale, Washington, Diane and all. I'm in the July 1st group and also signed up for the alumni course. Jody, I'm so excited for you. Um, I'm from Southern California. We love California, Patricia. Yeah, we love California too. Amanda, listen to your body, best advice. It all becomes natural after your body gets to where it needs to be. Love the July group. Yep. Um, Kathleen, love what you just said. Ask yourself what is more important to you. I need to post it at home and work. Yeah. You guys, I've been on, you You all know how it is. We've all been on every diet out there, right? We've lost weight, we've gained weight. We've lost weight, we've gained weight. It's such a momentary thing. And then we're kind of frustrated again. And then we jump on the next quick fix thing and then we're frustrated again. This has really been a lifetime change. Like I will, I get people asking me all the time, how long will you fast? And I, I'm like, every day, every day that I'm alive, I will create a fasting opportunity in my body. Will it always be a perfect day of fasting? No. Will it always be a perfect day of feasting? No. Will I always fast 20 hours? No. Will I always create a fasting opportunity in my body? Yes. Because I know when my body is in a fasted state, that it's in a healing state. There is no need for me to constantly put calories in my body. So I have just learned to go with the flow, to kind of accommodate my fasting into my lifestyle, and it has really been working. My husband's fasting, he's super healthy, he just had a physical. My son is fasting, he loves it. Food with my daughter is so much easier. Um, and it's just our lifestyle now. And putting time limits on it and putting a bunch of parameters on entering into something like intermittent fasting is just going to really set you up for failure. And so I, I beg you to give it more of, a, of an opportunity and more of a chance. Made the change to give up my butter coffee and my feasting time and now the weight is coming off again. Yes, Joy, congratulations. Truly fasted state is zero calories. Um, awesome, Mary. Glad you needed to hear this. Mary, um, I'm doing fine and glad I'm keeping a journal these four weeks. I'm seeing some foods I feel are bothering me and causing some issues, but now I can adjust it and back, got back on track. Awesome. Cool. Uh, Janice, welcome. Thanks for watching. Carolina, the first days I was so aware of every hour going by on my 10th day doing 24, and most days I'm doing 22 or 23 hours because it's easy for me now. Yeah, once you get into it, it's easy. Um, Amy, I did the same thing giving up the butter coffee. I really feel like it's making a difference in my gut. Yes. And I dropped almost three pounds last week after making the change. Awesome. Remember, butter is dairy and it's a real like um, dense form of dairy. So a lot of women don't realize that they have dairy issues and then you're putting butter in your coffee and then you're bloated and retaining water and, and just go coffee if you can. Heather, I'm not in any groups, but I follow you and research this on my own. I've done it now for two months, down 12 pounds, fasting 18 hours, need to start the journal thing. It's hard, but making a journal I think will help. It does help a lot, Heather. Uh, Joni from Arizona, looking forward to Saturday. I'm looking forward to Saturday too. Dina, good evening, Diane friends. I'm starting my Shakeology Fat Shake tomorrow to start breaking my fast and one meal. Goal is 24, most days can't wait. Good, keep us posted, posted on that, Dina. In the mid-July group and loving how much this lifestyle makes me happy. It is a happy way to live. Thank you for the July group and wonderful feedback and food ideas. Oh, you're welcome. Patricia, thanks for the reminder of goals. My number one goal is to beat pre-diabetes. I also need to lower my body fat percentage. Okay, so my, my suggestion to you, Patricia, is concentrate on the pre-diabetic state. And once you get that... Um, all those insulin problems taken care of with your hormones, then the body fat will decrease. Because I had the same issue when I was insulin resistant, I had so much extra body fat um, on my body. 
And then when that's how I knew I was healed is the body fat just started going away. There was nothing specific I had to do to get the body fat to go away. It was just that, that I was no longer um, hoarding body fat because my hormones were in balance. So work on the pre-diabetes and then the body fat will self-adjust. Tammy, did my first 18 hour fast today, major headache now. Mm, yep, probably drink a lot of water and get to bed is what I say. Shana, love the support system, awesome. Stacy from New York. Shanna, been two weeks, no weight loss, feel good, but why no loss? We talked about all that. It could be um, your hormones aren't balanced out yet or your body's not healthy internally. Give it a little more time. Love IF, so empowering. Awesome, Ellen. Patricia, what helps me with sleep? Uh, Janine is diffuser with lavender in it. Okay, there you go. Uh, low carbs helps with the fat burning. Uh, low carbs helps with the fat burning. Lower carbs helps you get into a fat burning state quicker. So you want to make sure that you keep your carbs as low as you can um, and then keep your fats up so you have energy and then make sure that your fasting window is long enough so you can take advantage of your fat burning window. Training in IF by trial and error. And error. Yeah. Uh, training in IF or by trial and error. What does that mean, Brenda? Okay, let's see where we left off over here on YouTube and then I'm going to jump off if you guys don't mind. Um... Let's see what we got here. Lots of deleted comments. My husband's on the job. Judy from Oklahoma. I am not losing weight in my middle area and I'm doing intermittent fasting for two months. Why do you think? I don't know, Lucia. You have to email me. We could talk about some stuff. Uh, Shinling, hello from Florida. Kel from Sydney, Australia. Welcome. Psyched for August group to start on day six of 24, but feel like I am winging it. It can hardly wait to start the course. Yeah, you won't wing it in the course. We'll give you all the tools to not wing it. You'll do it purposefully. Kelly, starting class Saturday, so excited, so excited to have you, Kelly. We can truly say no more dieting, it's a wonderful feeling. Yeah, no, it's not a diet, it's a timing thing is what I like to say. It's all about just shifting the timing in which you're going to enter calories into your system. Love to cycle. First 18.6 today, no problem, looking forward to 25. You mean 24. Oh, awesome, you corrected yourself. What? Write in a journal. What do I write? Uh, you write out your goals. You write out, we have a journal that we provide for our intermittent fasting course members. And so it's all detailed out what they can write and track so they know. Um, the reason we say a journal is um, so that when life happens and it kind of, kind of knocks you off track, then you have this history of what you've done in your intermittent fasting journey and the experiences you had and the foods that you discovered were causing you some issues and what you were doing that felt good and what fasting window was your sweet spot so that when life knocks you off track, you have a reference to go back to with what you did that made you feel good. Uh, for people in July group, join the August group is just a repeat of the original class. No. Um, yeah, you don't want to, if you've already been through a course, you don't want to rejoin the same course. You have access to all the material. So just go back through your course you've already registered for and retake the lessons. If you want to jump into the alumni course, that's completely different content. It's a completely different class. Um, uh, love IS, so empowering. What, what helps me with sleep? We already did that. We did that. We did that. Uh, Okay, let's see. Um, hi, Angel I Group. One of the biggest takeaways for me has been the zero calorie fast you teach. I had been fasting for a year, but tried to sneak in anything I could and rationalize it would be okay. Yeah, it's not. Got to go zero calorie. Um, once you do it a couple of times and you get into that good extended fasting time of about 20 hours and you start to feel fat adaptive, then the, it's super easy to go zero calories. And I don't know, we like being fat adapted in our house. We love the energy that we have. I describe it as an energized sense of calm. When you felt that energized sense of calm, you, you don't want it to go away. So that's what we really try to get you to identify with. And that's why I really want you guys to um, really regain that intimate relationship with you and your body so you know what it feels like when you feel awesome. You understand what it took to get to that place of feeling awesome and then there's very little that you'll do to jeopardize that once you've identified how that feels and what it took to get there um, and and that's when you've won and that's when you're really empowered around food and you can do this as a lifestyle because nothing is going to take away the feeling of awesome once you've kind of had the taste for it okay I'm going to jump off um, 
Would intermittent fasting also help with horrific hot flashes? Yes, you can ask anyone in our group who's been through the group. Hot flashes are one of the first things that go away. So if you're experiencing some hormonal imbalances, um, then intermittent fasting is exactly what you want to um, to jump into. Okay, so I got a question over here. Is it too late to register for August? No. So um, our August course actually starts July 29th. Registration will close sometime um, July 28th, so you'll want to make sure that you get registered. Facebook, there's a link in, if you click on my timeline, my husband also posted a link in the comments. YouTube, the link is always posted in the information section after the video has been uploaded to my, face, to my YouTube channel. Um, you can look at any intermittent fasting video and find the link to the next course in there. For my alumni members, our course starts August 19th. There is a couple weeks to go ahead and get yourself registered. We have the possibility of having a huge number of women in the course. So if it looks like it's going to start to get too impacted and we're going to lose control of the course, we'll probably have to shut it down and then start another one in a couple of weeks. So if you want into the alumni course on August 19th, I suggest you getting just get your place saved. You know that we'll take care of you there and we'll start the um, Facebook group up before so we can kind of prepare for the alumni group as well. But the August intermittent fasting for today's Aging Woman course is still open for registration. It'll close sometime on Friday, so you wanna make sure you're, you get yourself in there. And there's two options for registering, just the course in the Facebook group, or you can also register for the course, the Facebook group, and a one-on-one -on -one 30 minute consultation call with me, where I kind of help you walk through what you're doing with your intermittent fasting and some of the things that you might need to tweak to get the best results. So plenty of options for people who wanna um, want to get some help. Can yoga three days a week be enough exercise or do we need to weight lift as well? Um, that, you know, that all depends on your goals. So it just depends on what you're looking for as far as your physique and what you're looking for as far as your overall health. And then you kind of have to just make that determination for yourself. And I do always say that um, personality and lifestyle play a big part in how successful you'll be with your fitness. So you have to, you have to find something in fitness wise that's going to fire you up about doing it every day. I jumped last. I jumped in last week and already feel amazing. I'm so happy to find you. Oh, awesome, Margarita! Thanks so much for saying that, and I'm so glad you're feeling better. Okay, I'm gonna pop off here real quick because we are gonna have a late, quick dinner, um, and then we are gonna be um, packing up to go pick up our daughter. So I will see you guys tomorrow night, but I won't see you here. I'm gonna see you in our little vacation spot that we're traveling to tomorrow. So stay tuned tomorrow, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time here hopefully on Facebook and YouTube simultaneously. Um, I'll see what, what I get uh, reception-wise with the Wi-Fi where we're going and if I can kind of dial them both up at the same time. But that is my goal. So watch uh, Facebook for a post about what we'll be talking about tomorrow night. And then if you are interested in jumping into the course, make sure you do that sooner than later. Um, we do always end up having some people with some broken hearts and we have to close it down. So go ahead and get registered. Links will be posted. Have a good night. Thanks for jumping in with your comments. I always love hearing from you guys. I love seeing all the familiar faces and I appreciate your comments and questions and I'll see you guys tomorrow night.